Hello everyone, my name is Holden Hardman. This is my lovely wife, Jen, and today we're watching episode five of The Last of Us. I've been enjoying this show a whole heck of a lot. I cannot wait to see where the characters end up. Jen and I have been playing through rather slowly, but still getting our way through The Last of Us, the video game. So if you'd like to check that out, make sure you subscribe to the channel. Uh, for now though, how are you feeling going into episode five? Very good. I am digging this show a lot. The acting is good. The CGI looks really good. You can tell that they put a lot of thought into the development of this, the TV series. I know it was the game first, but um, I think that they are portraying the game pretty darn well. I saw some comments from people saying that they actually did not like the TV series portrayal of the game which I thought was just interesting, but um, I'm really liking it. Ellie, I think most people I think, are. I think Ellie is a, a really, she's an interesting character. Mm -hmm. At times is very mature, and at, at other times she's very much a kid. Mm -hmm. Joel, I really like. I think so far my favorite episode was number three though. Yeah. I'm anxious to see where it goes from here. I think the last episode that we watched was them being um, at gunpoint. Yeah, well, they're, yes, yeah. The two guys are above them uh, with guns drawn on them and they're stuck in that city. It's Kansas City, I think. So I am very curious, especially because the leader of this group, very unlikely type of character to have that role. Right. So I'm, there's something else going on with her and I'm anxious to find out what it is. I am too. Well, I say we go ahead and get into it. Episode five of The Last of Us. Doing like a karate kick. Is that on camera? Just give you the dirtiest look. He's my Reese's. It's actually Reese's. I'm just kidding. I say Reese's too. Reese's. Oh, people, people criticize us for the way we pronounce I, things. I know. I know. No, I see certain. No, you really I say Reese's too, but they're like it's Reese's. Reese's. Yeah, we had this whole thing with Daniel Craig. Remember the like. Right. Craig, all these Americans can't say Craig. I said, I'm not gonna take advice on how to pronounce things for people who say, what a bottle. <laughs> yeah. What? Do it again. What a bottle. What do you say? Water bottle. Oh, what are you saying yeah. about the bottle? They gave us a real hard time. Like, it's actually Daniel Craig, like the plague. <laughs> what a bottle. What a bottle. Don't you know you're saying Daniel Craig's name? Where's my what a bottle? <laughs> what a bottle. That's, hey, that was pretty good. Really? It's like a Cockney accent. What a bottle. Yeah, that's good. What a bottle. Let's not overdo it. It was good. <laughs> Put her leg back. I really like this opening. Jeez. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Did it feel good? Betraying your neighbors to Fedra? Did it make you feel safe? How does it make you feel now? We could put you on trial. You're all guilty, so that's how that'll go. <laughs> Do some time. Where is Henry? He had a place to hole up in the open city in case things went bad. I've told you everything I know. Of course you have. You're a rat. He's not my seventh priority, Perry. Is that what he is to you? She's like a really passive aggressive middle school principal. Yeah. When you're done, burn the bodies. It's faster. What do these people tell Fedra though? I don't know. I guess. anything that was non-compliant, like if anybody was non-compliant with Fedra's rules. Oh, so that must be I'm sure they don't know. Yeah. <sighs> Food? Whatever you brought. I barely made it out as is. Ammunition? Empty. Yeah, so is mine. If we stick to the minimum, I think we can make it 11 days. He's scared because you're scared. Whenever I 
started seeing shells like this, I'm starting to think that doomsday preppers were onto something. I mean, they probably are. Perspective, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Eyes on me. Eyes on me. We want to help you. Oh, that's good. Okay. We didn't hurt you, so you don't hurt us. That's right. That's a weird f tone. Yeah. <laughs> he has an ass. Everything is great. Dude. <laughs> I'm gonna trust you. you in the morning. <laughs> weird tone. Everything's great. And the most wanted man in Kansas City. Although right now, my guess is you're running a close second. He says thank you. I guess you don't have one, so this means a lot. I'm Ellie. You wait. Came up here to get a view of the city and plan a way out. I'll show you one. I always heard Casey Fedro was monsters, savages. You know what happens when you do that to people? The moment they get a chance, they do it right back to you. I don't work with rats. Yeah, today you do. Because I live here and you don't. Now I know where to go. But I don't know how to make it through alive. Once you're gonna unload a gun at you is the closest I've ever come to being violent. <laughs> I haven't heard that in a long time. Boom. Travel underground and pop up here. It's a great plan. So what do you need me for? There's infected. Just not on the surface. That must have been what was uh, breaking underground in the last episode. The Fedra guy that I worked with told me that it's clean. Okay, maybe there's one or two. You ran into a clicker. Two of them. And you're still alive. You're the right people. If it's only shot. Get your belt out. Well, he's just happy to be in the mix. Yep. See? It's empty. We've been down here two seconds. We don't know anything. That's kind of a pessimist. I'm not, not my dad. dad. <laughs> Point your light forward. No. Looks like something out of Stranger Things. Yeah. People went underground after outbreak day. Built settlements. No way! I love these! Endure. Survive. Yeah, man. Keep it down, we're not out yet. Oh, come on. <laughs> yes! Come on! Yeah! I shouldn't have said what I said. I don't know your situation. Yeah, I mean, I don't think Joel has the right to criticize him. He was, yeah. like, killing no, people. Was there was a man, a great man. And he was always forgiving. Have you ever met someone like that? The kind of man you'd follow anywhere. Sam, he, uh, leukemia. There was one drug that worked. There wasn't much left of it. And it belonged to Fedra. So I gave him something big. The leader of the resistance movement in Kansas City. And Kathleen's brother. I am the bad guy because I did a bad guy thing. You might not be her father, but you were someone's. You've waited long enough. Not the best conversationalist. So he gave up Kathleen's brother, yeah. Fedra, and they killed him? I'm guessing so. This room seemed so big. Michael told me that this wasn't a room at all. A big wooden box that nothing could get inside of. As long as 
We were together. The last time I saw him alive, he told me to forgive. What is the point of that? He didn't change anything. You did. My plan worked. So much goddamn talking. <laughs> I'm just saying. What? It's a huge state. It can fit two more people. No, he'll change his mind. Trust me. Like, no. Ellie, never, <laughs> ever, ever happened. Times, and he's like. Right. Oh. Oh, oh. Hey, come on, shut up. What are you doing? Get the f out of here. Oh, oh, shit. Oh, my gosh. Stay here. What? But if you go out there, he's going to kill you. It's dark, and he has shit aim. Nobody's going to kill me. Then he's going to kill us. Do you trust me? I wonder why he didn't lock that house door. I'm an old man. Put the gun down and stay up here for another hour. That's all you have to do. Please. Mm. Anthony, hold them where they are. Uh, there. Oh, gosh. Run! Come on, man. Oh. Come on, hit that driver. Ah. Nice. Oh. Dead end, Henry. You want to step on out? Just let the kids go. No. <laughs> Sorry. I know why you did what you did. He's just a fucking kid. Kids die, Henry, all the time. Jeez. So I'll just shoot her. You take him and run. Yes. That sounds like it. The ones that are underground. Oh, oh yeah! That's what I'm talking about. Yeah! Oh. Jeez. He got lucky. Yeah, for sure. She was talking about all her talk of fate. Woo! Oh, jeez. Oh, Oh. oh, I'm guessing we haven't gotten to that point in the game yet. What is that? Big boy got turned. Don't look back. Run! Oh. 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 <laughs> Ripped his head apart. Uh oh. Oh. The freaking acrobat. Yeah. Oh, it's a little girl, yeah. Ooh. <laughs> oh, neither of them got bit. Oh, God, this chick again. Joel. Yes. Spider-Man. <laughs> Screw you, Kathleen. Go to hell, Kathleen. It's right now. Woo! It is what it is. She was awful. She was just the worst. There's more coming still. What's that comic book say? Endure and survive? Endure and survive. Yeah, it's, it's not great. <laughs> <laughs> Look, I don't know exactly how I'm getting to Wyoming. I'm probably walking. You know, if you want to. Yeah. Yeah. I tell them in the morning. New day, new start. Should we not? One of them get bit. Hey. Did 
do I not look scared? Never. All the time. Is it still you inside? Mm, philosophy. I knew it. Medicine. Mm. I mean, but is it as simple as that? That'd be nice. Hope that works. It didn't work. Oh. You okay? Easy, easy, easy. What did I do? What, what, what did I do? Oh God, is he gonna shoot himself? Give me the gun, Henry. That's a that's a bad day right there. Oh, he's putting the etch a sketch on there. Which way's west? Oh. What an episode, huh? Uh. All right, we just finished episode five of The Last of Us. This one was, uh, I think, such a great episode. Um, I, I was wondering what was gonna happen with Joel and Ellie trying to get out of the city. And, um, you know, they lead us to believe that they could make friends with these two guys and find their way out of the city. Even Joel was like, you know, if you wanna come to Wyoming with us, you know, I guess we can make that happen. And for them to both die in the end was really, really, really sad. Uh, a lot of the special effects were great. I'm, I'm glad Kathleen is dead, but I feel like they were kind of making it seem as though she was going to be a player kind of throughout the show. So when I saw her die in this one, I was like, oh, I guess that's the end of her. I never, I didn't really like her, so it wasn't, I was fine with that. Uh, and then seeing all the infected was really, really awesome, including that big brute one, which we haven't gotten to in the game, if it's in the game at all. But uh, I, I really liked seeing the whole swarm of them take out the anti-Fedra, but worse than Fedra people. Uh, in the city. So um, and overall, I, I really enjoyed this one. I thought it was great. What did you think? I really enjoyed this episode as well. I think um, I agree with you about Kathleen. I thought she was going to be like a main character. I've noticed with this show, they have these little subplots throughout the series. You know, for instance, Henry was a subplot, you know. In the beginning of the episode, I really thought that they were going to stick with Joel and Ellie, but it was like one episode as far as like that plot goes. And then, you know, we had Kathleen, that was another kind of subplot. And then we had uh, Bill and Frank. I'm loving these little tiny stories within the larger story. Henry and uh, his brother, I think were such a um, interesting story. Halfway through the episode, it dawned on me though, I said, they're not going to Wyoming with them. No. They're not, there's no way. They're they're not gonna make it, something's gonna happen. But I think that the way that it turned out was great. I know Holden commented that one of them must have been infected and he was right. I was trying to figure out which one it was. I really thought it was the, gonna be the older brother. Yeah. Because I was like, logically, I thought if the kid would have had a bite or something, he would have said something right away, but um, they surprised me once again. So I thought it was great. And just that that image of kind of him sitting on the bed and having Ellie kind of come around. And uh, I thought that was a 
a great moment. But my favorite moment throughout the episode was for sure the car sinking and we hear all the auditory ground noises and then this just rush of in fact i thought that was so well done yeah me too um henry got real lucky though kathleen was about to shoot him and right at that moment that's when the infected came to save his butt yeah <laughs> um so i thought it was really well done very emotional they finally made it to a safe haven and that's when things just go badly and um you know seeing him have to shoot his brother i love that moment of he didn't want joel to and instinctively it was him that took out his brother instead of joel so i thought that was a, a minor detail that they really uh did very well yeah their performance in that scene where he shoots sam is uh, sam i think is the kid's name and you just you just see them just be able to perform and it just be great acting all around because you see even joel's like just give me the gun you know just give it to me and he's like sam he's like trying to talk to him see if he'll move and he didn't and the only thing that that threw me off was uh ellie being like my blood is medicine and like coming over there and like ru rubbing it in his wound i don't know what the what her plan was with that because she was so instinctive with it i was like has she done this before is this going to be a twist that we haven't seen uh, and then obviously it didn't work so i'm like well if she's never done it before and he's infected she's got to tell joel or somebody to prevent a situation like that. Well, I was thinking that maybe it was, uh, what was her name, Maureen? Marlene. Marlene. I was thinking that Marlene had told her just generally, your blood is medicine. Yeah. And so I think maybe for her, she thought just logically, well, if it's medicine, if I apply it to the, yeah. that's, that was just my thought. I'm probably way off, but it seems like something a kid would do if they had heard somebody tell them, your blood is medicine. Yeah, and uh, my heart breaks for Henry, you know, because in that moment was awful. I wish he wouldn't have killed himself. Sorry, I'm Satan for feeling that way. And uh, it's horrible, just overall, just horrible that, that they both died. But what an emotional impact, what an emotional episode. And then Joel and Ellie are all the more uh, hardened because of that, and they're continuing on to Wyoming. And it was right when you could see kind of Ellie's protective side, kind of letting her guard down a little bit. Uh, same with Joel. You know, yeah. to a certain extent. Yeah, he he's did. Probably, he's very, very cold at this point. But I, this episode, really, you saw a little bit of him kind of yeah. breathing a little bit. Henry proved himself to be trustworthy at, at a few parts, which I think helped Joel kind of relax with him some. That was a very chaotic scene, but they really did it in a way where you could understand everybody's reaction. You could see every single person and what they were thinking at that moment. And uh, in particular, the guy that played Henry. He did a great so job. Well. The moment where you could see him not knowing what to do, realizing what is happening with his brother, and then making that decision, Joel is not gonna take him out, it should be me. Yeah. So I always wonder if any of the actors in any of the shows or the movies that we've reviewed have ever watched, just curiously. But uh, if the actor who played Henry, if you ever watch this, bravo, man. Knocked it out of the park, well done. Uh, for now, that's it. We'd love to know some of your thoughts down in the comments below. So leave us a comment down below. We'd love to check those out. If you enjoyed this video, leave it a like. It does help the channel out a lot. Subscribe, you'll be notified when we post the next Last of Us video and the Last of Us gameplay. If you want to, you can check out Patreon. There's a lot of great fun stuff over there. But for now, that is it. Jen and I appreciate you watching. We'll catch you in the next video. Take care.